Why have cops become so militaristic? Our standard issued equipment has become a radio, a gun, and a f***ing Apache. Hey guys, what's going on? A lot of you guys have been asking me why cops are looking more and more like the military. I think a lot of law enforcement agencies are trying to find a balance between maintaining a professional public image, but also adapt to an ever-evolving society. So why have cops gone from wearing a shirt with slacks and a revolver to being heavily armed with tactical training? I mean, we're supposed to be peacekeepers, right? So how does rolling down the road in a tank with assault rifles and armor and everything else, how is that keeping the peace? To put it simply, the bottom line is that we have to be better prepared than the bad guys. And honestly, the majority of us are not trying to look intimidating by any means. I always think it's kind of funny when people tell me that they get nervous whenever I get behind them, because I guarantee you I'm probably jamming out to some dubstep and I'm thinking about all the bullshit reports I have for today. Chances are I'm not thinking about, oh, what can I stop this person for? And I've worked with a lot of guys who are former army and uh, they've told me that the training that we receive is very similar to infantry style training from the military. And I think the big reason for that is so that we have the upper advantage, you know, if shit hits the fan, that we're able to save our own ass and other people. But really, all in all, a big show of force is just to get the bad guy to think twice about what his actions might be next. Now let's be realistic. Do you really think a modern day drug dealer is gonna be scared of Barney Fife over here with one bullet? And I know what you guys are thinking. It's not just the drug dealers that are getting their houses raided by SWAT. And you're right, but the SWAT team is trained to clear buildings the same way every time. So whether you have a warrant for like check fraud or whether it might be double homicide, Either way, the SWAT team's gonna do what they were trained to do. It's all about repetitiveness and muscle memory. I've heard some other people say, you're not a paramilitary organization and you're here to keep the peace. How are we gonna keep that peace if we're outgunned? Let's take a look at the North Hollywood shootout, for instance. <laughs> Two heavily armed and armored individuals were firing fully automatic assault rifles. They were getting shot with pistol rounds and even shotgun rounds, and it wasn't stopping them. I remember one officer in an interview saying he snuck up behind one of the suspects, shot him in the back with a shotgun, and the guy like stumbles, turns around, and starts firing back at him. That's some shit out of a nightmare. Don't you think it's an issue when your police department has to go to the local gun store to rent rifles to stop a threat? Like, that's, that's pretty bad. And unfortunately, no matter how I word this, there's always going to be people out there that think we should still be driving around with six bullets and no armor. And that's a very easy judgment call to make when you're not walking in our shoes. And another thing a lot of people say is, well, if you were scared, you shouldn't have gotten into this line of work. You knew what you were getting yourself into. And you know what? Those people are actually kind of right. I mean, if you're scared to do this job, no, you should not be doing it. Because if you're scared and you're going to be trigger happy, you're going to be a liability to your department and you could get other officers hurt. But the same can be said if it's on the opposite end of the spectrum and you're fearless. Fearless people will also get others hurt. And I always tell new officers when they join, if you're scared to do the job, none of us are gonna make fun of you. If you know, this isn't the line of work for everybody. We get that. But on the same hand, if you come to work and you're not just a little bit nervous, you too need to quit. This is a very dangerous job. And if you're not at least a little bit nervous when you come to work, you're not gonna be alert, you're gonna get complacent, and that will also get people injured or killed. If you're nervous, your head is gonna be on a swivel, you're gonna be prepared. Prepared is the key word here. We have to be prepared in case shit hits the fan. Believe me, I will be perfectly content if I'm never in another officer-involved shooting. That would be great. But the reality is that I have to train in case that happens. Now, you guys know me well enough by now to know that I'm gonna give you both sides of the fence. I'm not always pro-cop. There's a lot of shit we do I don't agree with. And I think that's why a lot of you watch this channel is because I am so non-biased and I try to stay neutral. I think it's good to be prepared, but I think in some ways we have gone overboard with this warrior mentality. I think that's what's really put a negative taste in people's mouth lately about the police. This ideology that we're gods and that, you know, we deserve respect regardless of how we treat you. And I don't agree with that. It takes respect to get respect. I don't ever show up on a scene expecting anybody to respect me. And I think that helps... Um, 
I really think that helps with me being able to like diffuse situations and adapt to people and learn the certain things that it takes to get people to calm down. It's good to be humble and other people pick up on that. And I've been in this long enough. I've seen a lot of officers, some new, some veterans. And when they're off duty, they tend to wear attire that is completely inappropriate to me. And it's stuff that I used to think was pretty cool. I'll see shirts that say, we hunt the evil that you pretend doesn't exist. Or we make house calls with a picture of like a SWAT team stacked up at a door. And when you wear clothing like that, it really makes it sound like the public is this helpless sheep that depends on us to defend them. The public's not stupid. They understand exactly what's going on. People stay up to date and people are also armed. People can take care of their own families. But I don't think that's the appropriate attire to be wearing when you're trying to create transparency between law enforcement and the public. We need to be doing our job professionally and to the best of our abilities. And rubbing it in the public's face that we're these warriors that are ready to kill at the drop of a dime, it just really does not look good. Don't get me wrong, you need a warrior mentality when you're in survival mode. You don't need it when you're eating eggs at 6.30 in the morning at Waffle House. I think if you're in a situation where you're trying to stay alive, or you're trying to save someone else's life, then hell yeah, flip that switch. Turn warrior mode on, dude, let's do this. But you don't need to be that extreme like all the time. Well guys, that is it. I hope that uh, I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions on why cops have become so militaristic. I don't know why, like I feel like I'm skipping some things right now. I, I don't know, I'm just kind of drawing a blank. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to answer them the best I can tonight. Hope everyone has a great day and I will see you soon.